Alright, welcome back. Chain League 6, round number 6, we got, I believe, Mikkel and Zeb G going on. So, this will be a fun one. I don't know how this one's going to go. Uh, Mikkel definitely, I think, on the, uh, the undeceded side. Didn't really know uh, who they were at the, uh, the start of the league. So, this will be uh, definitely a match. Uh, it'll be good to see. Yeah, I haven't really seen too much of these players, but I think... Mikkel's a little bit better, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he'd probably be around like the, the mid-30s if he was seated uh, appropriately. But um, also a relatively newer player, so nice to see. But Zebji got the, the special spamming Aegis. Um, and it's, you know, he's done some work for him. He has been able to have some really good sets. So excited to see how it'll fare up against Mikkel's Zelda. Oh, no! Not like that, unfortunately. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, spamming the up B just a bit too much. Yeah, it doesn't have the best, like Pyra's is really good vertically, uh, but it doesn't have the best horizontal range. Um, unlike Mithra's, it's got a bit more horizontal range, but uh, in exchange for the lack of kill power. But yeah, not too far behind actually. Almost, Mikkel's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah, especially like with how strong Pyra is, could quickly get a, um, like a forward out for, or a neutral B off the stage. Or an up B coming up soon. Almost. Flame no more. Oh. Good shield. Does Mikkel know the DI? He does. Alright. Oh, no jump. Foot's still off of him. Not gonna kill just yet. Yeah, it's gonna get stale too. Yeah. Oh, but the full charge flame nova, that's gonna steal it out for sure. Definitely. No, can't flame nova when he's invincible. <laughs> yeah, the angel platform invincibility <laughs> helping him out there. Oh. Nice, jumping over the Phantom, that's really good. If I only had a hitbox just slightly behind, <laughs> he'd be landing so many more of these, but... Oh, not again. Yeah, it goes a little too far off. But yeah, Mikkel has been shielding most of these uppies from, like, high above. Yeah. Nice, uh, gets the good rapid jab. Oh, lots of damage. Oh, lightning busted the wrong way. Again. <laughs> On the footstool. One thing I'm, I, w I actually want to see is um, if Mikkel reflects the, uh, the Blazing End as it comes out. Because it just like destroys Pyra. It's so strong if you reflect the um, the Blazing End. Yeah, and, like she can't even defend against it. It's her own sword. <laughs> yeah, she throws it out, right? There's no defense. Nice, really catch, good catch in the air dodge in. Oh, look at him go. Ooh, He's nice. dead. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, this is actually winnable for, for Zebji. This is so good. This is like already shaping up to be a relatively close uh, set. Oh, it's, Although, that was know, a like a really well charged uh, F smash. He's still oh, living. Oh, oh he no! Lived. Oh, I, he might have just let go of the controller at that point. I feel like yeah, he probably was, thought he was dead. Yeah, it was so close. Yeah, he freaked out there. Yeah, you know, he went too high yeah. above the ledge, but good thing that he did end up catching the ledge instead. But Mikkel taking out game one. This could be anyone's match, so that was a very close game. Yeah, I'm not sure if we might see the Pokemon Trainer come out. Mikkel does have both the um, Pokemon Trainer and the the Zelda has a bit of the a little Lucario as well. So definitely has a, a large roster of characters to to experiment with, especially after taking game one. Lucario would be interesting to see. You don't see him very often. Yeah, I know SS Blue Ben has a bit of a Lucario that we've seen a few times in uh, in the league so far. Um, but yeah, other, other than that, I think like Neek brought one out during ladder one of the, one of the weeks. I think Jessa Peach has one, but I don't think he's played in a league. Wait, really? Yeah, I've seen, he's has that, a Lucario. I'm pretty that's sure. That's crazy, dude. I mean, Jessa Peach has all the obscure characters. Has the Lucas, <laughs> the Meta Knight, the, the Lucario. That's awesome. I love to see Lucario. It's a, it's a shame you don't get to see him. He's actually a really cool character. Um, and his kit is quite nice. It's just I think his his um his properties were just definitely like nerfed in this game compared to the previous one. Yeah, he's just like too weak at zero. Yeah, he's too weak and he's also too light. Going to small battlefield for game two. Uh, Pokemon oh. trainer, yep. That is gonna be the switch and starting. Okay. Nice. I is this this is the Which one is this? Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6. Oh, this is Callum, right. Okay. 
Are they actually based off things? I just assume they were random colors. Uh, they're based on the trainers. So the first uh. one, first two are, are red and leaf. Uh, and then the second one is like gold. Third one is May from uh, Gen 3. Fourth one is based on Lucas. Fifth one is based on Hilda. Sixth one is based on Callum. And seventh one is based on uh, Selena, I think her name is. Oh, yeah. From Sun and Moon. Alright. What to what Pokemon Mikkel prefers the most? Yeah, I think he is definitely an Ivysaur um, specialist. Uh, from what I recall in some of his matches earlier on in the league. Uh, and considering he wanted to start off on Ivysaur on the character select screen, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, but this Promise Revolves Fire type on the on the Grass type. <laughs> Super effective. Gonna take him out. Alright, but Flare Blitz, other side of the stage. Yeah, a lot of fire right here. Yeah. Oh, that almost killed. Oh, wow. Dude, it's so <laughs> large, that hitbox. Oh, that just went right through the uh, prominence. Wait, sorry, no. The, the blazing um, end. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting, actually, because a lot of the time, Charizard can lose out to certain projectiles. Like, it loses to Steve's crafting bench, loses to, like, a few other big projectiles. It loses um, to his bench? That's yeah. kind of funny. If you, if you, like, side B on the ground or to uh, Steve's crafting bench, it'll just collide. Um, but, yeah. So, that time he's gonna... He's gonna get the stock, so... Zebdi's still in front by quite a little bit here. Um, nothing that Ivysaur can't make back. He's got the projectiles. Um, and they're the really good range to contest with Pyro. But, geez, Pyro... Dude, up these RBs putting in so much work. That landing hitbox is so massive. Oh, oh that's too far off. Oh, that's the equalizer Mikkel needs. <laughs> is he trying to take him with him? I don't know. The, the, the spike on Pyro isn't the best. It's actually quite weak, but it does have a bit, quite a lot of hits done. Though I think Charizard probably would have been able to make it back. Yeah, there's multiple jumps as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, the side B into the side B? Yeah, really good. Oh, and the follow-up? Oh. oh, it doesn't get the landing hitbox, unfortunately. Nice, catching it in the start-up. Does he take damage if you stop it in the start-up? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know when the damage actually ticks. I think the damage only ticks if, um... It lands. Then it collides, and you take the real color damage from the Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. This is a very close game. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Oh, no. Charizard's heavy. Yeah. I forgot to update the score, of course. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like we'll need to update the score again. Because <laughs> FG on the board. 1 1. Yeah, I guess Pyro's a better fire type than Charizard. <laughs> yeah, interrupting the flare blitz once again there. So, with the uh, the side B, that, that blazing end. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a match on our hands. Nice to see both players on the board. Love a good competitive match. We'll see um, what Mikkel does. Because he did have the advantage and he swapped. So maybe we wanted to see how the Pokemon trainer would do. But I can definitely see uh, a potential swap back to the Zelda. Especially now that we're on PS2, it gives Zelda a bit more time to, to camp. Um, Kazuya? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Lucario. Okay, he's, he's Lucario. On PS2 as well. Yeah. Alright. See how this one goes. Going through all the Pokemon right now. Alright. So this one's good because the Lucario can definitely play uh, a much more zony game, uh, similar to Zelda in a way. Has that Aura Sphere that he can charge up and then release from like wherever he wants on the stage. Whereas Ivysaur would have had to be a little more closer with like Razor Leaf. Um, and then of course, as oh, oh no. like B reversed it, that's so unfortunate. Um, but you know, as Mikkel takes more damage too, his moves will get more uh, strong. Side B becomes much more of like a poking tool because it, its range just like multiplies so so oh, well. The forward smash the All the way. That was so early. From the other side of the stage. What percent was that? I think it was at like 80. Because he was like at 100 after the hit. Yeah, I guess he's really light. Yeah. I actually don't know exactly how light, but he's, I think he's like super, super, super light. Uh, probably not that much lighter or that much heavier than ZSS. But as well, Lucario 
at a high percent is pretty scary on Spyro because everything of hers kills. Yeah. Yeah, but all the while, there you go, that aura getting a lot of damage, getting stronger. Okay. The counter as well could also be pretty good, especially with like how telegraphed a Zepji can be sometimes with these specials. Yeah, and, the up uh, especially. Yeah, you get a bit of time to react to Prominence Revolt, so you can definitely get that double team punish. Um, and especially a high aura, that's going to do a lot of damage. Might even kill at this percent here. But... going to get it. No. Starting. He's struggling a little to get around these up pickers. Yeah. Oh, but that time, see, that's what I'm saying. Using the uh, the aura sphere from far behind to sort of uh, punish that uh, that prominence revolt from far away. Because I think he's been wanting to punish it, but he just gets a little too close, and th that hitbox is deceptively large. Yeah. He just yeah. If he's behind him, I think he can get a good punish. Because there's like there's like no hitbox behind it, right? Yeah. Try to go for the force palm there. Zebji in a really good spot right now. Oh, it doesn't get a landing hitbox. He's been pretty unlucky with his landing hitboxes, honestly, uh, on Pyra, but still in front. Was that Barely, dead? Though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a big Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball? Or uh, Sphere. Sphere. <laughs> We're not playing Mewtwo. All right. <laughs> yeah, Lucario can definitely make this comeback. Oh. oh, there's the double team. 80%. That is a good place to be. Yeah. Oh, oh that'll be dead. Oh, oh I guess the sour spot on the landing hitbox up top. But it catches oh, the, again. the extreme speed. Wait, this is no, so again. good. Again. Wait, that was, that was so good. He's actually a madman. He is a genius. Three uppies in a row. Are they all the sour spot? Yeah, and then the third one finally got some substance to it. Oh my goodness, catching that extreme speed over and over and over again. That was really good at the end there. Yeah. And now he's on match point. Zeb G looking to take his second... I think is this, this might be his second uh, match, actually. Let's check what the score is currently. Zeb G, uh, yeah, four, he's yeah. currently on 1-4. So this could be his second match for the taking. This could be big for, for good old Zeb. Back to Zelda. Yeah. Did work from before, so good choice. Yeah. Yeah, Miko definitely cycling through his characters now, but... Was it too little too late? Alright. Zelda definitely has the tools to deal with Pyra a bit better. Yeah, has the, the Reflector, has the Phantom. And we saw that Zepti was struggling a little bit against the Phantom in Game 1. So, don't know if Miko will clue onto that that's his, uh, his, pretty much his win condition, honestly. Like, how well he can utilize Phantom. Um, but the, the F-Smash punishes too. And Pyra's not the most mobile as well, so... Could definitely keep Pyra out if Sebji doesn't switch to Mithra. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Alright. Keeping things relatively even though. Oh, Phantom's the wrong way, unfortunately. But yeah. Look, the Phantom, like, already we're seeing just, like, how much better it is. Because it zones out. Uh, Pyra really, really nicely. Like, it has more vertical range than uh, the Aura Sphere. Like, it'll catch Pyra on that platform. Yeah, she'll need to either jump off a platform or use a double jump to get around yeah. it. Alright. Oh, up smash? Oh. Oh. I don't think it hits the PS2 platform, actually. It might be a little too high. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Well, it tries to roll back, but at the ledge, unfortunately. Yeah, no space. <laughs> Alright. With the up B. Yeah. Once again. I think Zeb just exclaimed that he didn't know that Zelda teleports. So, <laughs> that's, uh, hey, look, he's learning on the fly, which is good to see. He realizes that that's, that's an option now. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, one more? No. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, that was an interesting interaction. Yeah, good trade, honestly, because, uh, yeah. I probably wanted to get as much damage as he could before uh, Mikko was going to take him out with some move in the up air. Going to do it. Nice. Really good follow up off the blazing end, actually. Oh, I know he's throwing oh, them yeah. all out. <laughs> oh, Mikko was hovering just barely out of range, then so he walked yeah. in a bit. Gets the trip. Oh, that would have been a massive F smash punish. Gets the footstool oh, off the blazing end. The Yo, he's got the tech as well. <laughs> Zebji on fire. Literally, literally looking like Pyra. 
really, yeah, looking like Pyra here. All right. Although, Mikkel's starting to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice oh, jumps nice. around the oh, blazing that's the, that's the time he needed the up smash. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's really brought this back, actually. All right, Mithra, oh, switch to Mithra. Yeah, first time this game, I think. Uh, Mithra doesn't have the kill power, but she does have the speed to sort of evade, get uh, Mikkel into that disadvantageous spot, and Ooh. really nice up B. Sort of baited out the reflector there. Yeah. Invincibility did not... Oh, quick revenge kill with the up smash, though. Yeah. Yeah, Invincibility uh, not doing ZebG any favors there. Trying to land on Mikkel. But yeah, this could be anyone's game, honestly. Like, ZebG might be feeling a bit of the pressure because he probably wants to, to seal this game out and take it, take the match. Uh, but this is all the more uh, nerve-wracking for, for Mikkel, who's on the back foot. I like how Mikkel's, whenever uh, he doesn't get hit by the side B, he hovers like barely out of range. Yeah. Side B's or down B's. Oh, oh no. no! That was so close. Oh, we got a game five, ladies and gentlemen. That was unfortunate, but I'm we do love a game five. I'm surprised that didn't snap to ledge. That looked like it was no, good enough. Was he enough. holding down? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. That looked like it should have been good enough to, to snap, uh, grab the ledge. But uh, I think there's a bit of bit of pep talk going in. You can hear him like, you know, clapping, slapping himself up. He's uh, getting hyped for this game five. He had the the one game in the tank to sort of like adjust. Yeah, back to the Zelda. I think, um, yeah, I think Mika will probably stay on the Zelda. I don't see him swapping to the Lucario or the Pokemon trainer. I mean, it's worked both games. Yeah. It's game five now. Not really much time to experiment. Yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yep. All right, no skin swap though. Could be the mental shift that Zebji needs. All right. Are we back on PS2? Yeah. Crystal Coliseum to send us out in this game five. All right, I like that. This time Mikko just sort of chilling, sort of scouting out what Zebji wants. Yeah, playing really patiently. Sets himself up in the corner, got his projectiles going, finds the first opening. Oh, nice jab double jab. jab. Yeah. Oh, that spacing was almost perfect. Yeah, if you just like sent out the Phantom before the full charge, I might have been able to interrupt the um, blazing end. Nice, good catch on the get up attack. Oh, this is oh. so good. This is really good play, a really good evasive play from uh, from Mikkel, honestly. Yeah, hiding beneath the platform as well. Yeah. Yeah, something's clicked. He's playing a lot more confidently now, and a lot more smartly, a lot more patiently. Yeah, Zebchi's decided to switch to the Mithra now. Ooh, that oh, was good. nice. Gets the Sour Fair into the, the Phantom. Oh, he tries to read the roll just a bit too early, though. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted a sliding F tilt, or if that was, yeah, a roll read, potentially. Oh no! Oh no! That's not what you want to see! Oh, he needed to hold just directly to the ledge instead of down, but cleans it up quickly with the Phantom. Yeah, I expected him to go straight on to ZebG. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like a, an aggressive RB on the stage. Alright, still things are super tight, super even. ZebG a little bit in front here. Mikkel's just got to pick himself up, recompose himself, because he was playing so hot in that first stock. You know, if you can just get some of that again. He's in a good spot. Yeah. Oh, that great. Phantom. Yeah. It's such a good anti-air as well. Like, it catches you jumping, it catches you landing. Yeah, it's just so massive at the end when it, the Phantom swings the sword. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's that that's was like really underneath. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, watch the jump. Okay, he's chilling. Looking for these down airs. Up air. Oh, oh nice. great jump catch. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, on the Mithra now. Maybe he realizes that Pyro's a bit too slow. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that's what you want to see, though. Use the Mithra to get him off the stage, and then um, go into Pyro to steal out the kill. Yeah, once again, gets that uh, that Photon Edge to get her off stage. Oh, hang on, gotta watch out, gotta watch out. Yeah, these immediate switches to the Mithra and then just side beat it, catch a Mikkel off guard. Yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh, is that gonna Ooh. be it? Oh, not yet. Oh, oh, that oh could have been God. massive. Wait, the, oh, the air dodge. 
Air dodge again? Okay, chill. Don't jump. Oh no! Oh, what the wait, heck wait. was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait. <laughs> that was the. Oh my goodness! That was insane. Dude, he jumped. What? He down it. He got a spike. And then the phantom, dude. That was unreal. I've never seen anything like that. Did he get the spike hitbox as well? He got it the looks... he got the spike, and then he got the phantom, which then it like adds the knockback together. So he gets the cross, the most stankiest angle to send him <laughs> down into the blast zone. Oh my god, Mikkel was... is a genius. Oh my god, what a way to come back after being 2-1 down and the Zelda gonna clean things up. So close Zebji to getting his second win, but Mikkel, is that his first win? I don't know. That no, I think is... that's his second. Oh, oh he's, third, he's, on, he's on three three now. Okay. He might have I think what's his record been like? Because I I don't know if he got any DQ wins. Uh, let's search it up. Mikkel. Uh so won it over JFK, lost to Horizon. Uh he DQ'd. He so he's skill. only he's only lost one. Damn. Um, oh no, sorry, yeah, he lost another one, I think. Yeah, oh, lost yeah. to Elias Co. Lost to Elias Co. Uh, and then won it over Aerie, and is now won it over Zeb G. Wow, good stuff. I mean, and look, I mean, no uh, credit where credit is due, Zeb G also playing really, really well. So look, they've both got one more match left in the league. I think that might knock Mikkel out of bottom eight, honestly, because that's a, a pretty solid score to be on 3 yeah, 3. Yeah, 3 3 is, yeah. 4 3 is contending for top 16, although yeah. his. Don't know about his buckle. Yeah, but we'll have to see how it uh, all wraps up next week.